Oh, and here you go. Now you have the saw from up in the cliffside raining down onto the town. And this is going to be very difficult to deal with. But look at this ambush from earlier. The ambush in the middle of the road. Egg is still alive. Finally goes down. This is what we're talking about. The infantry combat overall making it just so difficult to just outright win firefights. You need to continue with your positioning, get support, and there you go. Although the, in the infantry were ambushed for the U.S., able to win that fight on the road and get the high ground. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And this one, we have the U.S. up against MEA on Logar Valley. This is Logar Valley ASV2, and typically in Eye in the Sky, we have invasion rounds, we have random advanced and secure rounds, but very rarely do we have AAS. AAS is the old school advanced and secure, kind of the original mode for squad, and it means both sides, both teams have no fog of war on the objectives. Everyone can see all of the flags. Everyone can push to the first point of the enemy team or decide to try to contest the middle point from the get-go. And when you also have Logar Valley, which I would say is probably one of the least played maps nowadays in squad, it can make for a huge infantry grind. Then on top of that, with the new V6.0 and the infantry combat overhaul mechanics, these urban games can get so chaotic. There's no command assets. There's no heavy vehicles, not even a striker or a BTR. This is just straight squad leaders on squad leaders, infantry on infantry, and this one ended up being a fantastic game. So I think y'all enjoy. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream throughout the week. But that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right, I in the sky, and this is Logar. Yes, I didn't mess up. I didn't mix up. I didn't say the wrong name. We are actually going to do some I in the sky on Logar Valley AAS V2. This is like an OG squad map, one of the smallest maps in the game. And I don't really know, aside from seeding, you might see Logar seed on quite a bit. Um, aside from seeding, a lot of people don't play this map. They don't like it. It's kind of small. You don't get any big tanks. There's no helicopters, but we're, it doesn't matter, all right? I'm curious. I haven't seen an ICO Logar Valley game yet, like a full-blown outside of seeding. I want to see how this will uh, work out. And we don't have the normal, like, fighting all throughout the town with all the little points. We have... Sorry, dude. I just... <laughs> I'm, like, trying to catch my breath. I, uh, I just, uh, I, okay, I don't want to say I ran because I'm still recovering from knee surgery, but I kind of, like, sped walk around the block here, um, so <laughs> I'm, like, I haven't really been able to run. I was marathon training before I injured my knee and re needed, uh, major knee surgery. I'm currently on, like, seven, month seven of recovery. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so I'm, like, my cardio, I'm, like, uh, uh, catch my breath here. So hopefully after All the right, first, we first point we'll be okay, but anyway, uh, we have, the uh, the east side against the west side, so the residence, uh, nomad camp, lower DC, Akhtar's compound, estate, and abandoned farm. So this is a six point layer, but the midpoint is actually only point three for the US, which we're on board with, and it's actually point four for the MEA. So it should be a really interesting game. There are no big boy vehicles, one Mat V, and then uh, two Samirs aside. So this should be a lot of maybe like. Fob defensive build. Wow, I mean Samir's already in, on the point. Um, Fob defensive build up, and then some uh, some fighting inside. So we'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully, I can catch my breath. I'm like, oh, oh. I'm like breathing heavy here. <laughs> I've been like sitting waiting for this map to start. I'm still man. I tell you what, guys. If y'all have ever had like major, not okay, not just like major surgery. Cause I, I'm sure uh, that's also going to be um, a, a pain to deal with, but like surgery on a joint, damn man, it has just been so, so difficult to recover from. Uh, I'm six foot four, man. I got bad knees already because I'm a giant person trying to hold my 200 pounds, six four <laughs> body up on top of that knee surgery. Just oof, has not been a good time. But anyway, we've got the U.S. roll. Oh, there's also no command, no command assets in this one, so we'll have to see how it starts off. But U.S. Lodgy about to turn right down the bit in the road. They need to be careful because MEA Samir car. Oh, there it is. This is Death Road. It was Death Road, but they chose to go over Death Road. 
And now the Matt V is going to go right into it. Matt V Gunner dead immediately. And we'll turn on our outline so we can see it. We're halfway done with residents. Crummy goes. Cloak, cloak action knocks out Toxic. Hey, Dachshund. I'll place the radio. I'll place the radio. I'll place the radio. Sylvanus in the middle of the road. Egg as well. This little ambush is happening while this is happening as well. Seven, and I got the radio. I got the radio. This is exactly what we are looking for with the infantry combat overhaul. It's going to be a massive grind and slog through this little urban area on the south side of Logar. Got Silent striker. Oh, there you go. You see this uh, Samir from behind is actually unloading on his friendlies. There's a lot of infantry out here right now. And they're, they're just right across the street from each other. Silent Striker, DM, Iron, just in front of us. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is just so close quarters. Lodge is getting popped. Infantry have dismounted. You can see the radio right behind them as well. That's that hourglass shape. Oh, and here you go. Now you have the saw from up in the cliffside raining down onto the town. And this is going to be very difficult to deal with. But look at this ambush from earlier. The ambush in the middle of the road, Egg, is still alive, finally goes down. This is what we're talking about. The infantry combat overall making it just so difficult to just outright win firefights. You need to continue with your positioning, get support, and there you go. Although the, in the infantry were ambushed for the U.S., able to win that fight on the road and get the high ground shooting down into the blocks here. And here you go. Oh, my goodness. What a grenade. Deep fake uh, decisions and Bozo go down. And both sides just hard trading. Lost about uh, maybe 80% of their squad in that firefight. 213 tickets to 214. Uh, Nomad camp being secured by squad four. But this is this is the issue. Oh, once again, if you guys haven't, uh, you played maybe a lot of random advanced and secure, RAS. Since it is AAS, everybody knows what the objectives are. Everybody's aware that Actar's compound and lower DC... The, they, we know that's these are the up, points, that's and that's why we got such a big, big uh, firefight in the middle. This, uh, this, well, this is a giant square cube. Rectang is it a rectangular prism? If it's like this, it kind of looks like a cube. Yeah. We need people spawning on this, this cube. Is this is a ginormous capture area for lower DC, and you can see there is a hab in this mosque. For uh, the U.S., they're spawning in. There are actually a few spawning on the roof, it looks like. Oh, no, they're, they're down below. Uh, but they have a, a, a hab right on the objective, and so does MEA. But look, this is the MEA hab right there. And if you notice, right across the street, this is the U.S. hab. Because so many people just spawned in, they immediately had nine players within 90 meters. So that MEA fob is actually overrun and U.S. might be able to grind this out. Great Let's job. look on the south side here real quick. Matt V holding this Alaji Squad 8. They're actually trying to get around. But it is all going to be on lower DC. Nomad camp is secured. Lower DC is the fight. And I'm going to take away some names so it's a little less cluttered. We can see how the infantry try to move around now. It's just it's such a grind. Black pudding, like, is it sweet? Black pudding, is it sweet? I don't know Sorry. what they're talking about here in local, but it's not Sorry, fire and move. And hold on a second. Who do we yeah, have here? Giga. About to be a Giga Chad if he finds this radio. He's got a Lodgy in front of him. He has to hear this radio. Everybody needs to keep pushing west. Doing a good job, oh, though. Oh, he hears it. it here's the Lodgy, but I'm not sure if he hears the radio. And infantry are trying to push across the road while you have... This is actually a really good position. Nikki Butts. A 50 cal in the past, you'd just be absolutely lasered headshot immediately. But he's holding this intersection with that 50 cal. And that is very, very uh, crucial. Spawns under siege here. Spawns under siege because you have enough infantry nearby. You have a handful north. Good grenades. But this is... It's so... So much more of a, a slower paced grind than before. You see infantry, they need to have overwhelming numbers. Get across the road. And then support. Kind of like a, a bounding. You got fire and move. Miko and Jackalaka on the north side of the road as 
A loud bo Okay, all right. Okay, oh. we're... Houses have all right. <laughs> Miko taking a GL, but infantry slowly working towards the south side of this HAB building for MEA. MEA uppish, uh, uppish spread coast, together, trying to... Together. Right Keep infantry away from the radio. Tosses a grenade into the compound. Might get scorching. I'm better. And no, it gets howling dogfish actually on the outside of the compound. Bumps around a little bit. But ooh, infantry just slugging it out. Close quarters here. Giga goes to just sprint around the corner. And Sunloa, he's stationary. He gets the jump on him. Infantry, I'm better, is better than Uppish Coast in this instance. Blast him from the driver's seat of the Lodgy. And here you go. Plenty of rounds just coming down on the west side of the point. You got so Oh, and hold on a second. This is this might be the win right here. Let's try to figure out where exactly this mortar fob is. in Psycho 2K. I wouldn't be surprised if this is what wins it. Squad 2, there's a whole team in that compound. So, mortars, and the mortar fob with yeah. squad 5, way out west by estate, and these mortars are going to be crucial if they keep firing. I'm not quite sure why he's not firing it right now. I think they have plenty of ammo. Uh, 784. We also have an MG. I mean, this is what you want to have on the north side of the hills here. Or north side, rather, the uh, the western side of the hills overlooking here. Whichever side can get fire superiority will win. And this is a, a, a nice spot, keeping that tower down. And this is that fob. The fob is right where those MGs are, are landing. Mortars landing right in front of the uh, the mosque as well. You see it splashing. And this should keep the U.S. locked on their side of the road. This is just incredible how both sides seemingly able to proxy and unproxy the fobs. Mortars just a little short. If they're able to get a bit further east... They're going to actually get into the compound right now. It's just kind of zoning. You see Top Monkey knocks out I'm Better and uh, Akatsuki. Akatsuki? Akatsuki? <laughs> Akatsuki. Somehow this radio has not been found out. Hans takes a couple shots at Science Striker running across the road, but misses. I cannot believe this radio it hasn't even been marked. It hasn't been marked. Oh, Top Monkey turns the corner and blasts Silent, his buddy. Hans has a chance to win. Right, we're digging down our own half to move it here, guys. Ooh. One sec. Hold on a second. Proxies. That's actually not a bad move at all. So they're digging down the hab that's right here. And they want to move it just a little east. Because they've noticed every time that they try to push, or that they get pushed, and it's proxy almost immediately. So we're just going to move it. Very, very good audible called by... By Wens here, trying to move it. I don't know if that's far enough. He's trying to move it to the southeast compound. You see Wens trying to drop this uh this hab here. They are on the radio, boys. They're on the what? They're on the radio. Uh, I think that's a missed call. U.S. saying that enemy were on the radio, but we're staring at the radio right now. I think they saw that the HAB didn't exist and U.S. command uh, trying to freak out a little bit. All right, we moved the HAB. All right, HAB is going up, and we'll see if this works. That might be just far enough from the enemy HAB for MEA. So slowly but surely, U.S. is just fighting their way outside of this compound. 210 tickets to 210. This is going to be a close game. Both sides with three objectives right now. Squad 4 trying to push out to Akhtar's compound, but you can't do much unless you knock out MEA from the town. And still waiting to see if anyone on the U.S. side, it might be Squad 8, might be now trying to set up a fob that is overwatching. You really need some high ground in order to get control of the valley. Because as you can see, this grind, it is just going to be... A slog, yeah, iron band, dust. I'm so scared. <laughs> you got this, bro. The balls are Oh, he's got it! Let's do down. 
Fuck y'all. I do got this. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you, man. Nikki Butts just needed That's a little bit of drive. confidence boost from Mr. Ander. Drags him back around the corner, and there you go. North side. A little bit uh, of a worry earlier, but if the U.S. can just... Oh, they're good mortars now. Holy heck, nearly gotten... Getting knocked from that. Um, Hab is still overrun. And still no mark. This is the MEA radio that we're looking right in the, the middle of your screen here. MEA radio still has not been marked on the map, despite the entire team fighting next to it. Wins. Golden Potato wins. He's, he's got heads up. He's probably going to hear this radio. Been a heads up uh, SL so far. Goes full auto. Knocks out Silent Strike. And he should hear this radio. Oh, he's going to run right by it. They have an ammo crate right there. Oh, they have his marked. And Wins is going to push straight towards that hab. Walking right by the radio. And this is just amazing. This is why you need your audio up, guys. Wear headphones. I mean, you can you can hear this if you're paying attention. Mortars now. Oh, this might be deadly. And it is. Mortars attacking the radio position. Knocks out three. These are defensive mortars. And Golden Potato also going down. Fantastic call in. Yeah, and this is why right you can see the red outlines over the hill. They can see the infantry crawling all over the radio position and can also get visual confirmation where those mortars are landing. Just well played and good setup from MEA right now. 197 tickets to 198. MEA... I'm trying to see. Do they get another hab up? They're trying to get a hab. Oh, they do have a hab on the north side. This is very, very far, though. I'm not sure if this is going to be too helpful, but we'll have to see. Squad 8 also setting up a hab on the hillside. Trying to get some uh, fortifications and placements. Oh, and Soda. Does he have it? He is digging down the radio. Finally, U.S. is on the radio, even under mortar fire. The only American who didn't die to those mortars found himself inside that radio and he's got a shovel out and he's going to start digging down jackalaka though with jaws and a handful of his buddies they might be able to qrf this really quickly qrf really quick Mo it's qrf is quick reaction for it. how can you quick reaction a quick reaction you know what i mean respond run down whenever your radio starts to bleed out you kind of just have to drop everything and see if you can't hightail it there because that's going to be a, a lot of ticket loss in a game that only starts with 200 tickets. Hab is off. Roof is off. Dell and, and Jim Possible. Fighting close quarters here. Grenade tossed by Jim. Just tags. Beans here. Beans trying to hold that corner. He has plenty of health. Not worrying about pulling out his bandage just yet. Falls back a bit and might choose to do it now. Wince though about to peak. Oh, and there he goes for the shovel. No, he fat fingered it. Tried to go for the bandage. Bandage now out. Wins holding that corner. And gun is now up, and he sees it. Wins goes. Oh my God! Beans tries to full auto and just loses composure and loses the battle. Radio on bleed out for MEA, and Wins has just shown some. I, 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 some gusto, some some chutzpah, some balls. He is just getting down in there, leading from the front. As Brother Man Bill knocks out one U.S. on the north side, still trying to get around on that hab. But I do think this hab repositioning is going to win uh, the lower DC battle for the U.S. They do still have that northern compound to wor worry about, this northern hab from the MEA, and the mortars. The mortars might just keep them locked in. So even though MEA is going to lose this uh, radio right now, they are still... MEA is about up by 20 tickets. So if anything, this is going to be a wash. Uh, MEA, even without control of, of lower DC, this they might just turn it into a, an absolute uh, slaughterhouse. Being, being able to push down from the hills. As you can see, you got Crummy Ghost, a top monkey pull off. All these infantry starting to push on in. And if they can just hold into a building and have their mortars, and there you go. Oh, MG Bunker nearly knocks out this transport. Transport dismounting into Top Monkey. Top Monkey knocks out Eduardo. And Scorch finally gets down by James and Wentz. Top Monkey taking out two. 
you can see how much damage just three infantry in one compound can do. They are just locking it down, causing a huge backup from uh, the U.S. in order to push out. And in that time, mortars are able to, to reposition and lock down. Gab on, wins is on a roll, knocking out another one. He's just been going full auto. Right here, stairs right here. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, Karami Ghost also goes down. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, I got him. And Uppish Coast, the last one, tosses a grenade. They should hear that wins. Needs to be careful. Lands just on the outside and wins is on a, what, kill Tacular or something right about now. Kill him in Joro. Anyone said you can't be aggressive with V6.0. Wins is here to show you you can. You just need to be smart about it. Even though he's pinned down by the he's NG, he's trying to get up his buddy here. here. All right, and DC is on lock. 161 tickets to 149. MEA for the first time is actually behind on tickets. And let's take a look at the battlefield itself. So. Did I hear a mortar tube? I did. Tree is actually in mortars now as well. And Grand Ping, my thigh, thighs, Poppy. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! All right. Ooh, mortars. Tree has dialed into the mortars, and you see golden, golden potato, jagged official Jonas. They are calling for that close mortar support. That indirect fire says they, they got one more burst in the air and they have knocked out the mortar tube. You see that red outline in the middle of the dirt? That's where the tube, well, still is. That's where the mortar man was. Golden. Golden going to push up. If you see any emplacements, just let me know. Oh my goodness, there it goes. And you can see he has that red dot. Much better for close quarters than the ACOC. Infantry. Oh, and there he goes. Another one down and Golden. Clearing out this entire position. Might get a third, fourth, fifth. And he does. Golden. Now he's in the hab. Silent Striker coming in. Tags Top Monkey. Goes for a third. Silent Striker goes down. Top Monkey. Does he got his bandage out? No, he has his rifle out, Top Monkey. Full auto and golden from point blank and valiant effort. The hab was never overrun though, so spawns are still up. Jagged and Chaos need to get up quick if they want to prevent enemy from spawning in. Mortars are coming back down. Jagged nearly getting tagged by himself. Chaos about to push in, cause some chaos himself, and he goes into the hab and goes full auto. Or not full auto, goes semi when he really should have gone full auto. Tags one or two, but could have had a uh, MEA pinata right there. 148 tickets to 128. U.S. still just on the grind. And the moment, the moment, words are hard. Emphasis is hard as well. The moment U.S. got mortars on this position, you could tell how, how easily it was for infantry to push up the hill. This indirect fire suppression, keeping MEA's heads down. And slowly but surely, a squad is, might just get flanked here. Full auto knocks one. U.S. has to reposition. Tosses a grenade. Oh my God! Did that grenade? That, was, that looked like an impact grenade. <laughs> it must have been a GL somewhere else. And the squad gets knocked. Eduardo, Jams, and Scotch go down. Chill, Danny, the only one left. And good effort. But those mortars are just—I I don't think they want to—they uh, want to tag their friendlies. So they're being a little bit careful on calling them out and calling hey, them uh, down, back in. See, body. this is the ra uh, the rally that uh, Squad 8 has been using to spawn in, and Squad 1 also has a rally. So very good opportunity for the U.S. to clear out this position. If they're able to clear out this hilltop fob, they have a nice open shot into Octars. But you can see, and well, I guess more here on command comms, they've been yelling about the HAB. Can Squad 7 take the logic? We're on the radio. Found a radio, boys. They've been yelling on the HAB about the HAB that is north of Lower DC, hey, and Squad 1 has now found that radio. Uh, Psycho 2K trying to push up, and that radio is going to be their number one priority running out, but it looks like you got infantry on the rocks. Psycho 2K, Brother Man Bill.
Compass, they're all trying to push. Scum, Scuba Steve actually goes down, and a grenade nearly knocks both. The radio still is not on bleed out, and Jim Possible bleeds out while trying to dig it all the way down. Didn't want to swap to his bandage and instead goes down because that frag grenade was they're absolutely perfectly placed. Like but now bitch. another dude, this is if you guys don't use rallies in squad, what are you even doing? Squad one has a rally on the north side. Squad eight has a rally on the east side. Squad four has a rally on the south side. These are no halves. These are just heads up squad leaders putting their, their rallies in smart positions, allowing their infantry cover to spawn in and then move out. And you can see this is not a hab spawn, hab spam position. This is just squad leaders breaking it down and moving together. And here you go, over running a position that was fortified with their infantry and indirect fire support. Absolutely love it. That is what you like to see with some good infantry grind. So squad four digging down the radio and you can see 106 tickets for the US, 106 for MEA. This is gonna be about as close as you can get. It's gonna be minus 20 tickets, however, for MEA, because now you're gonna to have to focus all on Octar's compound. While also, if you're MEA, uh, you don't wanna lose this radio up north. This is very, very dangerous if they lose all three of their, their radios. Uh, they already lost the first one they placed in lower DC right when the game started. They're losing their, their mortar fob right now. And this this other one, you see James and Schizodroid, they are trying to push up right now on it. And the issue is you're not going to have a lot of MEA defenders here when they want to focus on the, uh, the actual objective. So if if one of these uh, these US players stumbles upon it, you're going to be in a really bad spot, down to 60 tickets um, after this second radio goes down and, and then third one. So very, very dangerous position for MEA. They, they've been playing very well up until this point and just didn't have the... Honestly, if they just kept pounding with the mortars, maybe get one more mortar tube and just work with the, the mortars and infantry, you're going to be in a great position. But you can see smoke now overwhelming... Uh, Octar's compound and squad six trying to take advantage of it, push it up, but right Wookie, Silent, yeah, Lukenstein, Akoff, I mean, you knock out one MEA, you're going to have a couple buddies nearby to offer support and back him up. Akal goes down. Was oh, that actually Flocka backwards? It is. Akolf is Flocka backwards. <laughs> uh, Pierceus goes down to a grenade. And now Monty is the only one left up. 90 tickets to 75. What can save MEA right now is, once again, not losing this half. You don't want to lose this radio. You'll be down to 55 tickets. 89 tickets. Be careful. But you don't want to uh, to get this hab overrun. If you leave your hab and spawn up, and you have a pretty, I mean, they're kind of in a bowl, right? You got, you got uh, U.S. pushing from their, uh, their rallies on the north side. So you are getting shot down. But if you're able to just s stick with your squad, stick with your fire team, and make sure a medic is nearby. Don't lose any vehicles like they're about to try to bring in a, a Laji right now. Don't lose your vehicles. You can actually cause the U.S. to do a massive ticket grind just to get to you. This is going to be very difficult without indirect fire and vehicles. As you can see, Jonas Josen actually trying to push down the hill. And this is what they have to worry about. <laughs> this nice little, uh, nice little fire position. It's not the, I wouldn't say it's the most perfect spots but it'll do the trick <laughs> this is the type of stuff I just love in squad it just looks awesome they got mg3 up on the uh, this little stone fence line you got the heavy machine gun down to support and just infantry Oh, there you go. Rounds flying from both sides here. MG goes down. And then you get that MG back up. 
turn on our outline so you can see just how close they're getting. It's not at all. I mean, Jonas is, is kind of belly crawling in, but 83 tickets to 62. The radio has gone down. And it looks like Alaji has been ambushed. Squad four. Now Golden's going to knock that out with his uh, with his C4. They said we found the radio, boys. That is unfortunate for MEA, and I'm guessing this is about going to seal their fate. MEA going to lose this radio. Oh, you know what? Not yet. I don't want to call it just yet because Brotherman Bill is kind of last standing Alamo situation here. Brotherman Bill. Tossing a grenade. If he stays alive, he can get it back up. Oh, he's bandaging, though. Chili Danny is going to go in with the pistol. And, yep, there you go. Knocks him out. MEA just getting absolutely cleaned out from every single posi position they've set up so far. And that is going to be that. Radio's on bleed as well, and the hub has been found. Okay. Psycho, uh, it's now up to Psycho 2K. Ooh, and Squad the, 9. Hold on a second. I'm running straight to him. Coolest Dragon and AK Mario. They have to save this radio if MEA has any chance to get back into this game. And Coolest. Samir Car. it sounds like they don't want to push too far. Oh, that's just asking to get ambushed right now. They're going to get... Plot from the left side here, as you see two U.S. just holding in that radio room. Well, gets a headshot, and off he goes, the Samir car, and he's going to get knocked out himself, and two more tickets going down, and now it's all up to Psycho, who has picked up Orion, but that's not going to be in time. Radio's going to bleed out before they get anywhere close, unfortunately. He did want to pick up his medic, you see. Uh, well... All right, it's. I don't want to say it's over. It's pretty dang close though. Twenty six tickets radio left because that radio right has officially bled right. out. And Psycho Two K and Orion now trying to push up, hundred percent, straight ahead of them. James takes a couple shots. We just lost twenty more tickets on this radio. But this radio is gonna go down as well. Oh. Hold on a second. That, I didn't even see this. A nice little flank around. And MEA might have actually... Oh, Cameron might have lost the Matt V, but just barely going to limp away. Sylvanus blocking the radio. Knocks out three, and the radio goes down. 45 tickets to 21. Both sides in an extremely vulnerable position right now. Now Sylvanus needs to win this firefight for MEA if they want a chance. He goes up and above, but he gets tagged by Perseus. Or maybe a Monty as he goes Spider-Man in. And one other uh, position has been cleared out. And this is all down to whatever fight happens on... Uh, is it Octars? What is this? Yeah, Octars compound. 43 tickets to 17. 41, rather. And... If MEA can knock out a couple more vehicles, it's going to be really close. But 40 tickets to 14. You don't want to be given up right now. There are a lot of guys here in the north there. You actually haven't lost a single flag if you are MEA. You, you haven't lost a single actual objective. Yeah, you've lost halves. But you should know both sides are about even. You've knocked out at least one of their, their positions. You've knocked out uh, plenty of their infantry in this grind. And it's really just going to come down to whose medics are sticking with it and who's not giving up. Pack J, Wookie, pushing out a little bit. And uh, honestly, I, I think here you just batten down the hatches and let the infantry push at you. 34 tickets to 11. I mean, U.S. is just grinding tickets themselves. And squad two, if they can knock Sorry, out your guy can get that infantry, you can, you can see Google over the, here. Uh, inside the blue there and resupply it. Google trying to take a tickets. shot at Miko, and he does go down. 31 to 11 tickets. Grand Ping trying to push out. If he gets this radio, though, Jim Possible just spotted in. A bunch of infantry spotted in. They're probably going to body block it, prevent this uh, this squad from getting it. Google's going back up the hill. Infantry spawning in for MEA, and this is going to be just about the last spawns. You don't have any more tickets to spare if you're MEA. If you're down, you are holding until you can get picked back up. 
Oh, away. hold on a second. Did I see what I... Oh, yes. If you... You need to just go for a, a vehicle. If you see any vehicle right now... You need to try to go for it. I mean, it's going to be difficult. Just stay on defense, guys. There's no point to attacking oh. tickets. 28 tickets to 9. Let's see. I'm not sure whose vehicle this is. Might have been an MEA vehicle. 23 tickets to 8. That maybe maybe a U.S. Lodgy, actually. Because it is gone. Yes, that was a U.S. Lodgy. 23 tickets. And infantry are just trying not to give up. 23 tickets to 8. It is going to go down to the wire here. Trying to look at where vehicles might be. A uh, handful of vehicles out here for the U.S. east side. That's really not going to be in play. It's all in the infantry. I'm counting 1, 2, 3. Infantry down for the U.S. in front of us. Seven tickets for MEA. Oh, this is... This is it. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. If the MEA lose this firefight and do not get them up, that is the game. It has about two minutes until these guys will all bleed out. As you can see, only uh, Jaws and Crummy are up. Jaws pushing tree. Jaws goes down. Crummy's the last one. They just do not give up if you're MEA. Six tickets. You want to hold, hold, hold because... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. MEA down on this side of the objective. 22 tickets to, to five. It is whoever wants to sit and stare at that screen quick enough, or long enough, rather, not quick. 19 tickets to five. These are all the tickets they got. Top Monkey goes down to Bozo. Everybody is. Oh! He misses, and there you go. 18 tickets to zero. U.S. hold on to it. Managed to just not give up. 178 kills to 167. 242 deaths to uh, 235. Or sorry, 169 to 188. But 66 revives to 58. That is the game. Gee, jeez.